There once was a ship that put to sea The name of the ship was a belly of tea The winds blew up her bow Dip down below my bully boys blow She had not been two weeks from shore When down on her a right whale bore The captain called all hands and swore He'd take that whale in tow Soon may the well man come To bring her sugar and tea and rum One day when the time is done We'll take our leave and go Today is Wednesday, January 25th, 2023. And now, please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For some announcements. Calling all chefs of all ages and abilities, the Cornucopia Project will be hosting an after-school cooking club at GBS. Join us to explore cooking, baking, and with farm fresh ingredients, the club will meet once a month from January through May. Come to the main office if you want more details. Open gym for girls volley Open gym for volleyball girls this Saturday at SMS from 10 to 12. Today's lunch is choice A, chicken pot pie with biscuit and mashed potatoes. Choice B is a sun butter and jelly sandwich. John Harris Center naturalist John Benjamin and assistant teacher Jasmine McNeil for this after school free program where we will be practicing wilderness skills like orienteering, shelter, and fire building, winter survival skills, and tracking animals. We will also hike slash snowshoe at ex and explore in the woods play games, and more. Release your inner Yeti and join us. We have an encore performance of the Dolly Parton dog video. Once I had a little dog, I called him Cracker Jack. He had a spot around one eye that looked just like a patch. His legs were way too long and he was awkward as could be. Wasn't much to look at, but he looked all right to me. I found him by the riverbank, just wandering about. He was cold and hungry, and his ribs were sticking out. I snapped my fingers, whistled when he came, I picked him up. I was just a kid, and Cracker Jack was just a pup. I took him home and fed him till he couldn't eat no more. I took him to my room and put a blanket on the floor After that beside my bed is where he'd always sleep Each night in my prayers I'd pray the Lord his soul to keep Cracker Jack, the best friend that I ever had was Cracker Jack But he was more than that, a playmate, a companion He was love and understanding Everything a kid could want I had in Cracker Jack Cracker Jack would run to meet me after school each day He'd jump and wag his tail and look at me as if to say I love you and I missed you and I'm glad you're home again I knew just how he felt cause me and Cracker Jack was friends through the woods and fields we would often 
wrong about When we got in trouble We would help each other out I could run almost as fast as Cracker Jack could run We had a lot in common And we had a lot of fun He was always with And now for weather Welcome back to Weather. I'm Kat. It will be a high of 30 and a low of 20. It will also be snowing all day, so make sure you're warm at recess. I can't believe we didn't get a snow day. Well, how much snow do you think we'll have by the end of the day? Well, that's all for weather, and now for Root. jokes with cat this week's jokes are about snow what falls in the winter but never gets hurt snow ah. how do mountains stay warm they wear snow cap ah. knock knock who's there i see i see who i see a really awesome special segment in the near future and now for insane idioms hey i was right Welcome back to Insane Idioms with Bob and Bob. This week's idiom is ride an elephant to catch a grasshopper. Oh, I've always wanted to ride an elephant. Me too, Bob. But that doesn't make sense if you want to catch a grasshopper. Why would you ride an elephant when you could just go outside and wait for them to cricket? Exactly, Bob. Why would you do that? So it means to do something unnecessary to get something? Yeah, Bob, that makes sense. How would you give an example? Oh, okay, well, would be riding an elephant to catch a grasshopper, so if we took a plane to get somewhere, that's only a two-hour drive. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I feel like it would take a lot longer to take a plane. Well, that's all for Insane Idioms. Have an insanely awesome day. And now, for I'm Root. with Bob and this week's route is fort. A fort is a building or a strategic strategic position. An example of fort is fortress. A fortress is a stronghold like Fort Ticonderoga. I made a snow fortress with all the snow in the past week. And now back to the anchors. And now for birthdays. Happy half birthday today to Haley S. We're glad you were born. Respect, Respect. responsibility, and, and safety. It's the Bobcat way. You put the great in Great Brook. So have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.